much <laughs> hit points does this dude have? If, if only we had some sort of a spell that would stop him! There's a spell called Chill Touch. Part of it specifically says the target cannot heal until you're next time. So as you as you as you explode this thing, you see its its body die with a look of almost recognition on your, on its face, Get erupt it, from its chest. Yeah, we're the same thing. And you see it's the, the darkness leave its eyes. And then I got the final blow. Hey, D and D. We did, did it. it. You did uh, it. Well done. We D and did it. Go on then. <laughs> yeah. So I know it's like. Hey. Yeah. yeah. So that was just moments ago. Yep. Woo! <laughs> so, you, so then, therefore, you remember, yeah. and oh. therefore, you can continue the story. Yeah. Oh, what, a, where to now? That cave. Well, do, do, do you need any more bits for your hammer? You're going to take like a chop little bit. Did I not already guy? do that? No, <laughs> not from not. this guy. No, I, I can't. It doesn't give, give hey. me anything. Well, oh, I was, really gonna, I was, gonna, I was just going to make you, I was just gonna make you take off a testicle again. <laughs> <laughs> Spend like ten minutes. No, it doesn't. I need, I need to be the, the next type, different type. Yeah, of Yeah, well done. Giant. So you have currently. See, I keep up to date with some parts. Yeah, man. Well done. It's only Bodger that's stupid. Yeah. Rowan's on to it. <laughs> um, you've got. You've killed a hill giant. You've killed a stone giant, and you've killed a frost giant. So. And what's what's left to go? There is a fire giant. There is a cloud giant, and there is a storm giant. Of the, oh, of, of the true giants, you don't know what will happen if anything. If you try some of the like other things that are technically giants but don't have di giant in the name, like trolls and ogres and mm. etins, mm. you could always time. try. You'd think that a cloud and a storm giant would just collaborate. You'd think, wouldn't you? you? Know? Yeah, cloud and storm. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Sorry, so anyway. because he's half giant, isn't he? Uh, no, he's half Goliath. Great. There it is. Just testing me. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, you passed. All right, so uh, to pick up where we left off, you are in the mountains of the mining uh, mining island of Erengal, uh, where the Erengal steel operation is run from. In the islands of Thilavern, in the Elven, mm. uh, El Elven city, Elven archipelago. You are dealing with this dragon, her red herringbone, um, to, <laughs> <laughs> uh, to, to earn favor with yourselves in, uh, with the Sandana family so that you can hopefully get some kind of an invite to the, uh, the island, the invite on the island of Delorine, where all of the five family heads reside. And then you can talk to them about the various things that are going on for you. Uh, saving the world against Wither, perhaps, or uh, turning them against Leothil for being an evil bastard. Um, whatever the case may be, you have just killed the stone, the, the wither stone giant that was inhabiting the dragon's cave. And uh, as you walked into the cave, you see that the dead, desiccated corpse of this dragon is uh, is is on top of the uh, the, the loot, um, the various different dragon horde that is in there, and also lining the walls of this cave are uh, artisanal quality cave etchings and drawings. As a stone giant, uh, he doesn't just do stick figures, he does elaborate mosaics and such. Look at all that oh, treasure! Wow, let's go loot it! Oh wait, first! There could be traps. We should get uh, our resident rogue to check check for traps. Hey, Bob! Bob! Uh, my ears are burning! Uh, what the f***? Who the f*** are you? Who are you? Get, where the f*** is Bob? Uh, it's me, Bob! You're not Bob! You're not Bob in the slightest! Go, go away and get Bob! Well, guys, it's me, Bob! I'm Batman! <laughs> this is... This is Bob. It's, he's always looked like this. Uh, ben is having knee surgery today, so he can't be here, so this is Bob. He's always... He's always been Bob. Yeah. I don't remember that beard. Good job. I don't remember the beard either. So one more time. You're Bob. Yes, Bodger, I'm Bob! Okay, great, okay. brilliant, radio. Okay. Uh, okay. l l let's get into the cave. Paying absolutely no attention to all of the drawings and stuff, I run into the cave looking for loot. <laughs> oh. All right, so you trigger all of the traps. Um, <laughs> Why? Because I want the loot before Why? you guys. <laughs> As you run into the cave, uh, you, you all make your way into the cave, Baradun first. Um, and right, being traps? that it's very late, being that it's very late in the day, uh, you don't trigger off any traps. However, There's no traps because he was in there. He was in there. Uh, however, as the <laughs> as the sun is setting, being so late in the day, the rays are shining into the cave, and then silhouetted in the blinding sun, a figure in white robes also enters the caves behind you. Gandalf. <laughs> he speaks. Did you? He speaks. Did you? <laughs> I am tracking the footsteps of four young dickheads. They met someone they did not expect. Does that comfort you? And then he steps from the light, and as the sun rays pass, he emerges from the light. You see his face, 
dressed in white robes. Gandalf! <laughs> Greg the Cleric! Clem, what is it? The Life Cleric approaches. <gasps> Do not let him speak. He will cast a spell on us. We must be quick! <laughs> it is me. Greg. The Cleric. Gandalf! I mean... Uh, uh, Greg. 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 It's Greg. Is that you, Greg? Greg, it's you. Looking good. Greg the Garlic Farmer. Yes. Yes, that's what they used to call me. Alan's back, baby! Woo! I rolled an 18. Do I get to stay? No. No, the DC was 26. <laughs> the DC was 26. Enjoy Welcome back, man. Hey, good to be back. How's it going? Good. How are you? Um, solo D and D with a du dungeon master. It's never intimidating, right? Yeah. No, I feel really comfortable. I'm in my element. Yeah. It's never, never at all. Anything dangerous can I, happen when you're on your own I've in a split party situation. I haven't D and D a lot uh, in about half a year. So <laughs> looking so forward to remember uh, everything about getting back into it. Do you remember which ones are D twenty? The bear, the <laughs> this one. Correct, that one. Okay, we got we got that. All right. So, do 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 do. Way before this moment, where you've entered the cave as a cleric, uh, we take you back to being an artificer. You've still got all of your Ugh. artificer things, right? Um, <laughs> just quickly oh, set God. those up. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> the wind <laughs> whipping at your face, yeah. drying your tears and drowning out your sobs. Although a part of you knows that slipping from the back of this Jabberwock would mean the sweet release from a lot of your troubles, <laughs> there's a much larger part of you that's still scared to let go. Uh, and that part seems to be controlling your fingers at the moment. So tighter you grip, closing your eyes to the driving winds and hoping to all the gods that you land soon. Kettlesteam seems to be having the absolute time of her life, however. Sorry, huh? <laughs> we'll get there. Okay. Uh, <laughs> she's clinging onto the Jabberwock's neck with her knees alone, her arms spread wide to the skies, soaring through the air like the true bird that she once was. This is the happiest she's been in many weeks because she's been traveling with the dickheads <laughs> for a long time. Uh, and she's now heading home to see her mama. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! I don't want to die! Please let this be over soon! <laughs> ah, who the hell are you? <laughs> it's not long before you start to feel your weight shifting forwards on the smooth scales as he pitches downwards. You brave yourself to open an eye and you see in the twilight a great marble tower ringed by delicate spires casting its shadow over the rooftops of a palace below. The, dra the great dragon starts to circle lower and lower as the palace grows in scale to meet you. Within moments, the ground is hurtling upwards at a rate that makes you rather uncomfortable until he digs his claws into the dirt and braces himself with his enormous outstretched wings and he comes to an abrupt and jarring stop. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw to see if you are thrown from the back of this dragon. All right. Four. <laughs> yep, you are thrown <laughs> from the back of the dragon. Good. What's your, uh, what's your dexterity modifier onto that? Um, dexterity two. Okay, so that's a six total, thankfully. Uh, because your mask of illusions, the mask that is holding up the illusion of you being uh, Zybilna, stays on your head. If, okay. you, if you'd rolled a five or less, I'm grieving it. The, yeah, you, the <laughs> mask would have come off also as you fell, as you fell off, and then the Jabberwock would have straight up attacked you. So you go <laughs> careening off of this uh, this Jabberwock, and you take uh, oh nice uh, nine points of bludgeoning damage as you <laughs> tumble onto the grasses and the, um, uh, the 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 lawn of this palace. Uh, seemingly rather uh, overgrown and un un unkempt. Seems like there's a lot of gardening to, to be done, mm. almost as if the owner of this palace has been locked away for some time by her uh, sisters. So, uh, if Greg falls, the dragon feels confused because Zybilna shouldn't have fallen off the back. So you see, as you are starting to get yourself back to your feet, <laughs> the Jabberwock is looking at you with a cocked head and its eyes flaming still. It starts to come over to you and sniff. <laughs> what do you do? <coughs> uh... Oh, I just, I, I, I say, good girl, good girl, <laughs> and start slowly backing off. I'm going to have you make an animal handling check. Yeah, please. this is going to go well. <laughs> Greg's dead. 14. Oh, 14, uh, minus one, because you have a negative one wisdom, uh, at least for now. Cool. Um, you, <laughs> you have a 13 total. Good girl. The dragon, as you, good girl, you start to back off. <laughs> It breathes in, <laughs> and then Kettle Steam is going to try Charm Monster, and if this fails, you're fine. All right, but but we know I appear later, <laughs> right? So I yep. appear later. 
Zabilna can definitely resurrect, so... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't mean that you're not going to feel an awful lot of pain right now. Uh, thankfully, that is a very bad roll on his part, so Kettlesteam quickly whoosh, shoves her hands forward. She managed to stay on the back of the dragon. She, she's she's, she's natural. much more competent than you. Yeah. Um, and, she, and, and you see... <laughs> and then it kind of turns its, back, turns its head away and towards her. Huh. And she says... Um, she says, uh, oh, that's right, I've got to do a kettle steam. Oh, I haven't done kettle steam in a while. <laughs> She's all over the place. She goes, quiet. That's enough, my pretty girl. And, he, and then it curls its wings back behind. At this point, you see coming out of the palace a beautiful woman, uh, elven to an elf. These, these long pointed ears and beautiful features, alabaster skin and this long dark hair. Um, uh, long white hair, I think, actually, from memory. Uh, and she's got this tattoo on her face. She's got these um, these long flowing robes. And she looks an awful lot like you look <laughs> right now. Oh, this is going to be awkward. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, thank God I'm back on the ground. Oh, what a predicament. Oh, thank goodness. Here comes an archfey to save me from my troubles. No more problems now. Hmm. Interesting. Funny story. The, uh, the, I'm the, regretting the, a lot, actually, <laughs> right now. I'm, I'm questioning a lot of my decisions. <laughs> the Jabberwock looks between the two of you. Yeah. Confused as always, but thankfully still charmed. Away from the Jabberwock again. And Zevilna says, well, this is an interesting uh, encounter. Hello. Hello. Ah. Welcome to my palace, me. Really good to be here. Hey, so funny story. Um, I can't. I, I fell off the jab walk, bumped my head. I can't remember a bunch of stuff. I know I'm dressed up as you. There was a, there was a reason for that. Uh, <laughs> it was a very smart idea. My my jab walk probably would have had uh, trouble allowing anyone else to ride it. Yeah, I, I wanted to bring the jab walk back I, back here. So I commend you for your bright idea. My daughter, she lifts her hand up and helps kettle steam off of the jab walk. It's so good to see you. And she gives her a sort of a, um, not the warmest of hugs. Yeah, yeah. she's kind of an arch a little bit aloof. A little oh, bit that's sh- nice. Alo- but she's, kinda. you know, it's kind of. Yeah, like it's, 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 okay. <laughs> they definitely a little, not too Kendall disingenuous. Stein, you can see is kind of like tearing up. She's like, well, not actually tearing up because she's got crow eyes. But she's yeah. <laughs> emotion- emotionally, you can see it. You can hear that she's uh, replicating the sound of someone who would be tearing up. <laughs> 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 it's a very awkward experience. Yeah. I'm gonna, to just be standing here. I'll just stand here. <laughs> oh, the hug's going on for a while. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she also that. lifts up and scratches the uh, the jab walk under the chin, and then uh, dismisses it with a wave of the hand, and it kind of curls around the one, one of the um, temple uh, okay. towers. So the jab walk just let that go. There's two. Okay, <laughs> just great. let it go. Charm, charm, charm monster on it, and then Zabilna has power over him. So Whew. says um, so. If I may, she waves her hand down, and your Zabilna illusion drops, and you're just wearing the mask of familiar faces, but it's not doing anything. <laughs> I just slowly yeah, remove that. Very good. Hello. Greg, wasn't it? Yes. Greg the farmer. A garlic farmer. Yes. Yeah. It's uh, wonderful to be to uh, meet you. Your friends could not convince my Jabberwock to let you let them ride? No. Uh, no. Um, again? Bump my head, so don't know what they're up to. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. You don't remember? I don't remember. Bump my Very head, well. falling well, off the Jabberwock. I, I am in a similar position. I have just woken from a long sort of yeah. coma, if you will. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm sure it'll all come back to me over time. <laughs> over time, as it is reminded to you. Please, come inside. Come inside. Where are my manners? Thank you. This place is she, lovely. She, uh, she takes you inside of this palace, the Palace of Heart's Desires. As the name implies, this is pretty much everything your heart desires. What, what would you see the foyer looking as? Everybody sees it as different. Wow, it's just it's just any dish that garlic can make. <laughs> it's, it's just like the a base big of banquet every, kitchen, which is the base of every dish. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's everybody just, knows. It's, garlic's it's, in everything. The garlic's in so everything. It's just, so it's just ooh, food. Just the smell of garlic. The smell, the smell of garlic. It's garlic cloves hanging, drying. It's <laughs> real, a real like congregation of garlic enthusiasts hanging out, <laughs> wanting to talk <laughs> garlic, and I'm I'm ready to listen. Well, I, uh, I can see that you're uh, exhausted and your head has been hit quite badly. Yeah, it hurts. It hurts I, um, let me show you to where you will be staying. And she takes you up this uh, large stone staircase and uh, along a corridor. Mm. It, the corridor immediately does not look very much like a palace of heart's desires. It looks like it's kind of rickety and uh, the wooden floorboards need work. And she, you can tell that the, pal- the rest of the palace is struggling to maintain this kind of ability to manipulate itself to your needs 
yeah. probably because it's tied to her power and she's still recovering. She uh, she shows you to a guest room though, and she um, she opens the door, and it's just this shitty, like really blank wooden floor uh, it's, it's kind of musty. And she goes, "Give me one moment, sorry." Uh, you can see that she really like digs down deep, and then this kind of this this almost like there's a breeze comes through the corridor that you can't feel, but you see her hair start to waver. You mm. see that she sort of almost. You know that David Blaine trick where he lifts himself up onto it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Looks like one foot behind the other. She just, like. Yeah, she just does that. <laughs> well, I'm not that impressed. I can see, I can see, I can see both your feet. <laughs> She's facing you. <laughs> she does it. She's like, uh, it's, good it's, balance, it's part, I suppose. It's part of the magic. <laughs> it's like yoga. I, I walk to her profile to make it seem more impressive to me. <laughs> she, she does that, and then, uh, and then the room starts to... Oh, now we're talking. And then the, the floorboards start to shift themselves. What would Greg's ideal bedroom look like? Oh, um, it would just, well, right now, just a, any comfy bed would do. <laughs> it's just, after just a, a very small, simple just room, a small, nice, comfortable Small, simple bed. room with the basics and just none of my team there. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you walk in, the doors close. Close and they're all there. And they damn it. <laughs> no, the doors close and the windows disappear. There's just no way in or out of this room. Oh, maybe a like, window oh, would be nice. Thank God, no. <laughs> yeah. Nobody can get in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> great, great, great. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> I'm alone. My finally. own space. Um, she says uh, through this now disappeared door, she's like, uh, take your time. Um, I know it is still early in the day, so you may not wish to sleep yet, but uh, uh, you can get settled. You can have a nap, whatever you need. Um, and the rest of the day passes with Kettle Steam recounting her time with, uh, with the dickheads. Uh, Zybilna's spending some time recovering and tending to her castle, uh, her palace. Uh, the palace is slowly coming back online. That evening, you are invited down to, uh, to dinner. You've probably had a nap, you've recovered a little bit, your head's still hurting and you're really struggling to remember certain things still. Yeah. A, lot of, <laughs> a lot of things. But she's laid out this uh, huge, f enjoyable feast for you at the table, mostly made of garlic, Perfect. garlic and fish. Perfect. Um, and she says, uh, we sort of cut into this scene as she's in the middle of uh, talking to you about what she thinks might be useful to you. She says, um, I think it would uh, benefit you greatly to spend a little time in the life realm. It's a beautiful, serene place where all life was created. Uh, it's a great place for meditation, and time doesn't pass there in the same way as here, so you can take as long as you need to find yourself. Oh. After what you've done for me and what you've told me today about your journey so far, it is my returning the favor to you. I will astrally project your mind to the Tree of Life, and then from there you can enter. And then uh, she's cut off by the arrival of a flittering noise. It kind of sounds like fly in the room every time every, fly, every time every time every time, time. yeah as soon as you get started i heard it over there i was like oh you gotta be kidding <laughs> there it is there the piss off so it was uh, quite an ordeal you went through it seems it seems like you were um you went through quite a lot it was uh, it, it's a good thing that you're here at the palace now um uh, because now I, as we say i'm going to I'm, I'm getting my powers back slowly mm. but mm. i will be able to help you out mm. just try <laughs> yeah and i'll try I have been through a lot with my sisters, and and um, and now it's just time. <laughs> I'm trying my best just to remain calm. And yeah. Calm. Nope. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. okay. I don't have my powers, okay, so if I if I did have all of my powers, I would I would murder this fly, <laughs> and I would murder all of his thousand children, and I would make sure that all of his ancestors came back to life so that I could murder them all as well. But I don't have my power, so I will we'll just be calm yeah, with this we'll fly. Just stay this calm. Fly, this fly is just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So the pixie comes into the room. <laughs> it's right there. And lands down. Oh my goodness. My new tablet is worth sacrificing. <laughs> Should I do it? Do it. Okay. <laughs> Oh, Damn it! it. Came past me and I almost. Never mind. Um, we roll, rolled an attack and missed. <laughs> this pixie lands down in front of Zybilna and she says, uh, "Oh, um, uh, it is good to see you again, uh, Tinkerbell." Tinkerbell. <laughs> and she says, uh, "You know, it's not Disney crossover." Yeah, okay. it's with an A in the middle. Yeah, so <laughs> Tinkerbell. Um, and the and, gangster and, Tinkerbell. Tinker. 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 Tinker says. Yo, <laughs> yo, <laughs> um, she she uh, announces. Um, so distracting. She announces. Uh, just wanted to tell you, Miss. Uh, does uh, 
There's someone muck, muck, mucking about outside on your property, an uh, elven woman. She's, she's kind of here to, to, to find you, apparently. She says, um, very well, I will, uh, I will deal with that, thank you. And she stands from the table and walks outside. She stands from the table and walks outside, but as she moves, you can see that her form shifts, almost like yours does with the mask on, mm. uh, but her form shifts to um, a, an older woman looking less... Um, less graceful um and as she walks outside she sees clem as you enter the table clem she sees you enter clem uh and this older Hello. woman comes out of the palace and uh sees sees you walking uh, along the lawn and she says um uh, yes well what can i do for you my dear hi <laughs> don't can i sit down yeah no you understand <laughs> What, stands. what can I? Is going to turn this into a lap? We're going to act it out. <laughs> <real time. laughs> what? What can I help you with? Well, I was hoping that perhaps I might. I'm from the University of the Three Ravens, and I was hoping that I might do a st sort of a study stay here. Oh, here? Why here? There's only me lives here, my dear. Well, I'm doing my thesis on Archfey at the moment. Oh. And what do you what do you know of them? Well, that's the point. Not a lot. Right. <laughs> well, what makes you think Hello. you'd... Hello. Is this a good place to stay for, for where you think they are? Or well, uh, yeah, you're an archway, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> what, what would you make you think that? Just, I got it on, you know, good authority from this fly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the f***ing flies, she says. <laughs> and then she <laughs> shifts her form back into Zai building and says... Yeah, they can never keep their mouths shut. No, I'm so sorry. I didn't uh, want to just put it out there. But no, I that's do. okay. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to uh, happy to help. I'm a little under the weather, so excuse my deceptions. Uh, I'm recovering from an ordeal recently. You're here to study. I am Archfey specifically. Like may I may I get your name? Clem Scrib Clementine, not Clammy. <laughs> you give your full name. That, yeah. I, okay. No, I don't. No, nope, I don't. Too late. You back. said it, mate. You said it. I take it back. So that means that, that means that, I take it back. that means that later on, <laughs> when you tell these guys that you only an idiot would I give your full name to an Archfey. I forgot fade. for a second. Oh, it's too late now. Too kind. late. Must, so now you can now you can rewatch now you can rewatch that scene uh, with the knowledge that she was saving face, uh, yeah, lying all, to them. Uh, a bit scary. You didn't give her your name, your full name. No, she would control me if she was. Of course. I'm not an idiot. An idiot huh? would do so. I mean, an that? idiot would give a, a fay their real name. You don't have to rub it in. It was like seven in the morning. It was seven in the morning. Rob is tricky. He's crafty. I don't know what he wants or needs at any given moment. I'm just trying my best. This British accent is not great right now. And I'm really, I need to warm up into all of it. You see what I mean? It's hard. Good God, I'm sorry. Yeah. All right, Clem. I got Clem a middle name you'll never know about. I, you, said Clem, <laughs> you said Clem Scrib and I was like, very clever. She remembered to not give the full name, Clem uh, Scrib. And then you went Clementine. And I was oh like, okay, God. there it is. It's been a rough one. I've been walking <laughs> in the forest for about. <laughs> Ten hours or so. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh. So you give your name to this hatch friend. She says, "Wonderful, great, thank you." And then as soon as she says thank you, you're like, "I'm like shit, shit, <laughs> shit. <laughs> come inside." Okay. She feels well, a lot more confident with you entering her palace now that she has your full name. My God. Well, I've got no choice. Really. You uh, you walk in just as dinner is happening. You see um, a gentleman at the table. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, and uh, refresher on what each of you looks like for the other one. You go. <laughs> um, what, sorry, what I look like? Yeah, so what's she seeing? Um, you, uh, see, I'm still, I am wearing uh, Greg the Garlic Farmer clothes, so in rags. That. They're still pretty dirty and used. Right. I've got some, uh, I've got that, that, that scale armor on I that I just one. Have, have failed to take off. Mm -hmm. um, it's just like a, a dirty, disheveled <laughs> version of Greg that Nasty. looks like he's not really. And if you can see auras, <laughs> yeah. it would be like black. Or yeah, something. yeah. <laughs> and he isn't. Really, he didn't ask for a bath in his room, unfortunately, <laughs> so he didn't get that. Oh no. Um, and he's just—he's not looking too happy. He really forces hello, oh, but God. he wasn't. There was no love behind it. Yeah, he was cool. Like just saying it out. And what, is, and what does Greg see when you're walking? Um, I'm, I'm an it? elf, half elf, and I've got a weight. I look like I just walked out of library. Um, I've been walking in the bush for a bit, so maybe a little bit muddy shoes and stuff. Yeah. 
Tr trekking for a little bit. Yeah. You're, you're in good company. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You sit down. Money, um, she, oh, <laughs> long story, long story short, she, you. Uh, she sits you down at the table. You eat um, at your fill. You you are consciously Love now it. aware <laughs> of <laughs> you're consciously now aware of like all of the things your mum told you before going. Like, don't give you your name. Don't yeah, accept food from them. One thing she told me not to do. One thing she told me not to do. <laughs> your name. No, what was the other thing? Don't eat their food. <laughs> food. Don't, food. don't <laughs> eat their fruit. <laughs> I'm eating the apple. And I'm like, what was the other thing? I'm pretty sure that. So drink any other. Wine. Is this the first place you've been to as well? Is this the first place you've been? Like, uh, yeah, so, so you're like, like non-stop shot, <laughs> non-stop direction right to this point. Um, all right. Oh, no. Hello, I'm Greg. What's your name? Clementine. What are you doing here? I'm, I'm studying Archfey, actually. Cool. Yeah, one thing about them that I've learned is that you should never give them your name and you should never accept food and drink or hospitality in general from them. Oh. Oh. Fuck. The rest of the evening passes without incident, though, and she sets you up in your in your uh, room as well, which she turns back online for you, and it turns into that uh, the, the room that we described last time. Mm -hmm. um, the next day, uh, she will come to you, Greg, and astrally project you to the Tree of Life. So she comes. Yeah. Uh, she comes into your uh, into your room and. Uh, allows you to bath. <laughs> Just like, oh, yeah. you should have yeah, yeah, should have asked me about yeah. this yesterday. <laughs> you didn't <laughs> need to sleep. In I the, don't want to impose. Now the sheets are filthy. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't want to impose. I, I'm sorry, I didn't see any spare sheets around. I couldn't <laughs> take these ones off. There's I just no in position to me, dear. Uh, okay. Come with me. Come with me. I'm so stressed out about this. <laughs> she she sets you into a room, a smaller room that's sort of dark, lit, lit by candles. She has this sort of incense circle that you can sit in. Uh, she gets you into this meditative meditation, um, meditative pose. Walks you through like a guided meditation until eventually you see you you feel yourself having this breeze across your skin and this uh, smell changes from incense to like forest. Um, the sounds of birds and and uh, bestial creatures around until you open your eyes and realize you're sitting cross-legged in a forest, probably an enchanted forest from how vibrant it all looks and how lively it all seems. There is a wood elven settlement built around you and at the heart of it is an unfathomably large tree, the tree of life. Both the forest and the settlement, however, show signs of being relatively recently rebuilt and uh, regrown follow following a tremendous forest fire. You can see that the green growth is small and young and the older growth is blackened and charred and the buildings and the rope bridges between all of the platforms of the wood elf village are fresh and well maintained. The tree of, uh, tree of Life itself has a huge charred wound in its trunk as though it's axed open by a f giant fiery claw. Um, I'll have you make a history check to see how much you know about what might have happened here. 20. 20, not 20, plus Whoa. your intelligence of three, I think it was, was an, uh, as an artificer. Uh, very good. So you definitely remember the, uh, the war of the Army of Eternal Fire when Baltaroth the Destroyer, leader of the Firelands, put together an army of demons and devils and uh, ravaged this entire land of the Willen Forest and, uh, and, in, and forced his way into the Tree of Life to try and, uh, try and destroy the Crucible. You know most of the details of what happened there because Baradun likes to brag about it. Mm. He, was, he was one of the people there that helped, to, uh, helped the many adventurers to, uh, to defeat Baltaroth in the first place. Uh, and he likes, to, uh, he likes to very much boast about his accomplishments. <laughs> so you are standing in front of the Tree of Life. It is quite a surreal experience. Um, the elves there, to cut a long story short, so that this isn't seven episodes of just you two. No, this is fine. <laughs> this is fun. They, 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 everyone else just came for the, the opening. Yeah. <laughs> the, elves, uh, the elves lead you into the Tree of Life and you get glimpses of endless beautiful forest oasis, uh, saturated colors, flowers, and lush plant life. There's diverse spiritual animal life with horns and like squirrels with wings and things that uh, look a little bit off but are kind of cute and uh, not intimidating. <laughs> There's fairies and fawns and pixies and other magical creatures as well. They all assault your mind at once and, and your senses until eventually you're overwhelmed and your mind sort of goes blank as you enter another plane of existence. Back in the um, back in the palace, uh, wow. what do you think? What do you think oh, Clem, uh, Clem does for a couple of days with Zybilna? Um, I walk around trying to convince Zybilna that I have a middle name for two days. I'm like, yeah, I got that middle <laughs> name that you never even knew about, and like, it would be a shame if like, you know, you didn't. Do you, do you have a middle name? Yep. 
Do you genuinely have a middle name? <laughs> yeah. Oh, interesting. I do. Yeah, because you never told me it. No, so it's well, not on your character sheet. You're so a DM, but you're the equivalent of an arch fail. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't tell you my, oh, my I full see, name. I see. Make a deception check <laughs> oh, against me. This one? <laughs> against me. This so one. you have to get a 20. What am I doing? Oh, no. 15. That's pretty good. All right. Yeah. I'll allow you to have a middle name. You didn't tell your full, your full anyway, name. Anyway, my middle name you, you is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do have a middle name. It's <laughs> So, did you know that I have, like, more names than just Clem? Is that right? Mm. Do you wish to give me them? No. I know you. So you, you just don't know all of the letters, all the consonants. Right. All the syllables. Mm. So just so you know, we both know, I have more names than right. you think I do. Of course, of course. So if you were to use a name, it wouldn't be the only name, is no. what I'm saying. No, no. Just one of them. Just one. Just the true name. Uh, so for the for the rest of the uh, the next day or two, um, Zybilna is bringing herself back online, bringing the palace back online. You're trying to get uh, any information from her. She's uh, helpful in a sense, but she's also kind of weak. So mm. she's, you, you make an insight check. I'm not sure how insightful mm. Clem is. 14 plus your insight will be enough to pick up on when she's um, when she's getting a bit much uh, when she's when you're getting a bit much for her and you leave her alone and just enjoy the archway's castle. Uh, the next day you're still on the um, the tr the plane of life as um, uh, she starts to work on the armor that he'd left behind. Uh, you can see that he had a uh, mariner's armor that he'd picked up from one of the hags that you definitely remember. Mm -hmm. uh, and she's she's combining that with some more armor for you. Interesting. The next day you come back to your body, having spent quite a long time in the tree of life, in the, in the yeah. plane of life. For your experience, uh, for your body's experience, it was only like two days, but for your mind, oh, it yeah. was a long time. It was sort of passage of time was not counted in the same way, so it could have been weeks, could have been months. Um, what do you reckon you've been feeling in your time in the Tree of Life, in the Plane of Life? Well, yeah, I think when Greg first arrived there, uh, there was this immediate sense of calm uh, washed over him. He, he uh, really, it really emphasized the, the chaos that he, his life has been in the last few uh, weeks with Baradun and the dickheads, uh, just the it's chaos. It's been a lot of murder. It's been a lot of murder, <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of a lot of burning, fire, a lot of fire, yeah, a lot of death, <laughs> and just to Bajatora woman's spine out. Yeah, yeah, that was <laughs> that. That'll stay with me for a while. Um, he he uh, really sort of started to um, just just see a new outlook on life and started to really connect with the forest and life and light and really began to. Um, well, he's been able to wander around the forest and then just, you know, ex explore and, and it, it became clear to him that he, he wanted to help um, see and, and, and strengthen life rather than the opposite. He'd been yeah. very much questioning his, his moral compass the last few months. Being <laughs> around, weeks. being in the plane where all mortal life originated, it really has an effect on the power of that and yeah. the power of nurturing that and how fragile it can be. Yeah. And um, so he really sort of, I think he really sort of started to see clearly for the first, for the first time um, what he wants to do. And then do. You, you feel like you're getting to, to a level of peace with your, within yourself mm. and your mind starts to immediately kind of astral project itself back again because you feel like you've achieved what you wanted to. Yeah. The second you arrive back down in your body, you hear uh, muffled by the sounds of stonework in the castle. Greg! 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 And, you, and ah. there's like three or four of your of your friends just shouting your name, screaming oh, your God. name. Greg! 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 And then eventually it stops and you realise, oh, they're here. Ah! Hey, Greg, it's Greg. me, Bob! She faxes our little fax a bit. I love it, <laughs> Greg, where the fuck have you been? You can't just turn up and yell at us. What is the primary purpose of your visit to Philippine? I'm going to save the world. There's a really easy way to help us out, guys. People are always asking on like Reddit and Twitter and stuff about D&D shows to watch and consume. You can tell them about us. It's not only your friends you can tell. You can go and tell random strangers on the internet, hey, this is a really good show, and then show them some of these videos.